What? <gasps> no. Hey guys, what's going on? So we have the 2020 first half preview and it looks pretty cool. Um, I know there's been a lot of uh, people down on the game and stuff, but uh, basically what seems to be introduced seems pretty cool. Um, of course, there's there's stuff about spending and stuff in here. Or, well, likely you'll have to spend to get some of this stuff, but um, you know, I think a lot of this looks awesome. And as you can see right here, we have costumes and we have three costumes for Daredevil, Cyclops and Captain Marvel. But let's get into it. So new features. We have costumes. The Marvel characters we know and love have evolved in many ways since they were introduced to the world through the pages of Marvel, Co Marvel Comics. One thing that just about all of the characters in the Marvel Strike and Marvel Strike Force have in common is that they have worn multiple costumes attire in their various appearance appearances. We're excited to announce that the ability to change characters' costumes is coming, and we're happy to share some of these changes you will be able to make. And as I said, there's Daredevil, Cyclops, and Captain Marvel. Uh, those look pretty awesome. I'm excited for this. Any variation, as long as this isn't super spending heavy, I think um, it'll be all right. But one of the exciting aspects of costumes is that we can visit iconic uniforms and apparel in the Marvel Universe across many timelines and media. Some characters that currently have classic attire might get access to a more modern look and vice versa. Or certain characters that have threads inspired by pages of the comics might unlock a new ensemble from a Marvel movie or television series and vice versa. The possibilities are practically endless. Please note that the costumes shown here might not be the first ones made avail available, but they will be coming in the not so distant future. I think it'd be really cool if we, um, there's a lot of different X-Men attire. So if they had like one concrete uniform, uniform that you could do for all of them that looked pretty much, you know, that gold and blue, I think that would be awesome. Uh, the methods in which costumes will be unlocked is still being finalized, but it is likely that they will be available through several different modes in the game, similar to how characters are unlocked through various modes and events. We know that this is something our players have been asking for, and we're eager to hear your feedback on which costumes that you would like to see for your favorite characters. We plan on re releasing a steady stream of costumes for years to come. So it seems pretty easy um, and, and, and seems not too controversial. Uh, different game modes and stuff that you can unlock them. So um, I wonder if any will be tied to a battle pass or anything like that. I know other games do some things like that. Um, I'm definitely excited for costumes and they seem to be just cosmetic. So uh, that's great. Hopefully, you know, they don't give, you know, if they give uh, a character like Nebula a new costume, you know, she's a little bit more used than by the time that that comes around. So obviously we want uh, characters that are going to be used more and more in different game modes to have the newer costumes but let's go on so iso 8 tier iso 8 tier 2 last year when iso 8 featured was introduced we were thrilled with the positive response from players to such a game-changing feature it laid the groundwork for us to expand on in the future on the future and consider what the next evolution will look like we're happy to announce that the next iteration is now in production iso 8 tier 2 is intended to be late game content which when introduced and players will be in pair players will first gain access to tier 2 crystals and ions as rewards in the doom raid we'll have more details on tier 2 in the coming months that's what a lot of this is saying is like just introduction we'll have more details later on strike pass so this is going to be similar to the real time arena they will be using a similar system called strike pass to pass strike pass to grant extra rewards for completing daily objectives including some new additions in most cases this means that you'll get more rewards including orange gear for the actions you've already taken in the game there will be different levels of rewards based on your current level in the game for example the pass for new players will likely contain a lot of blue and purple gear while the pass for veteran players will contain more orange gear more details shall be revealed closer to release i actually kind of don't like that because at some point um, I think those newer players, I, I think blue and purple gear are steadily available. Uh, you can get blue gear orbs just from doing daily. So I don't really know if they need to do that. I, I think they should just do orange gear for the whole thing, but I guess we'll see. Exclusive original character. They're actually, they said they were pretty excited about this. Uh, they're going to make a brand new character that has not been in any other Marvel content before. And it's going to be, it's going to get their initial release in the Marvel Strike Force universe i guess um so they're really excited about it it's gonna be canon as well um and I, i'm excited for it too i wonder what they'll create i think a lot of the people working there are obviously big marvel fans so i don't think they're gonna do anything too crazy but uh hopefully it's a cool character i think it'd be weird if it was a legendary or something but uh it definitely should be kind of a um who knows? i'm sure there's gonna be jokes about him being like payman or something or money bags or something something similar to that so improvements that are going to happen save squad tabs we've been steadily rolling out improvements over the past year to the save save to the squad select screen and the associated character roster and save squad screens with many base improvements made we're now able to move on to something that has been highly requested save squad tabs instead of having only one list of save squads you'll have multiple tabs and list 
list associated with several of the most popular game modes like Arena, Blitz, and Raid. While the larger feature is being worked on, we plan to add more save squads in the next game version as a stopgap. Um, that's interesting. I think it'll help with, uh, like for me, for example, I just run my war teams as my uh, blitz team. So I will definitely try and make tighter blitz teams that will win more often just because, I mean, some people do that already, but just because I do like to have that, um, have them be similar, I guess. Raid Season Milestone Rewards. This is something we've mentioned in a previous post, but it's worth mentioning again, as it's an important feature that is due to be spruced up with the metagame. Currently, many alliances tend to finish the Raid Season Milestone re Rewards rather quickly, so we are looking to improve the long-term experience with more top-tier milestones for additional for additional rewards, including, including Orange Gear. Raid Key Tracking. This is something that's been requested by many alliance leaders and officers, the ability to see which members of the alliance are contributing those vital raid keys. We know that alliance leaders have additional uh, qualities Quality of life improvements requested and the team is reviewing those to uh, evaluate what we can address this year. Red stars for Ultron. This is what I'm excited for because actually there's a Black Order counter using Ultron and uh, if he had red stars it would make the counter a lot better. Um, the team wants to give additional value to opening basic red star orbs and we're doing this by introducing a new currency that will be part of the orb drops and this new currency will be redeem redeemable to purchase red stars for this character for characters like ultron who previously didn't did not have any access to them and and additional red stars for ultimates then this new currency will give players uh, some additional agency in getting red stars for specific characters in the future. Please note that the new currency is intended to be something accrued and redeemed over a period of time. So it just seems like something you're going to open red stars anyway, so you'll get this currency as well. Um, you know, obviously people who spend for red stars are going to get there a lot sooner, but uh, I, it's still, you know, accessible for free to play people, which is nice. API, so application programming interface. This is something that we've been working on for the better part of the year, and we're close to rolling out a beta version. We've been in, the, in close communication with the admins of MS sf.gg to create an api that will allow their website to direct access to certain game information such as mission nodes and general info about characters including but not limited to xp upgrades isolated upgrades and traits we'll be progressing from an alpha test to a live beta test in the near future with limited features our intent is to keep building on the api over time with more features eventually opening up access to additional partners we're we're committed to the long-term support of the community and this is one of the, the ways which we are dedicated to that so under review, everything mentioned above is already in production. There are a couple topics that aren't fully in production yet, but they are actively under review by the by the team, and the plans of actions are currently being explored. Alliance War. This is many players' plenty many players' favorite game modes, not mine, and we realize that it could be spiced up a bit to encourage some new tactic new tactics. We're currently exploring several options to shake things up a bit, and we should have more information to share in the near future on those plans. We want to revisit the room bonuses, and we're exploring. Uh, and we're exploring allowing for additional attacks and additional defensive squads per room. I don't know, I don't know about that. Real-time Marino, uh, this is the biggest controversy right now um, in the game, but we're taking community feedback into account on several aspects of the feature, including the recent changes. The recent change to players quitting a match before it's finished. This created some unintended edge cases. We also heard community feedback regarding some imbalances in matchmaking and desire to have a greater incentive to focus on winning matches. We'll continue to explore options to incorporate feedback and iterate on the mode over time to help improve overall experiences. In summary, uh, and there we go. There's your pre preview of what is what we're working on for the first half of 2021 we have a lot of improvements and special events planned especially around the time of the game and games anniversary in march april please note that everything mentioned here is subject to change and has the possibility of being pushed outside the given time frame we'll do our best to keep you updated on status of this of of these innovations innovation uh, initiate i think they spelled innovations wrong while well, we're constantly looking for Looking how to update and improve existing features, we are simulta simulta simultaneously working on developing new game modes that will provide unique and thrilling challenges. Yada, yada, yada. So uh, overall, these seem awesome. I'm really excited about the costumes. Again, I'm sure there will be some paying aspect to some of them, but uh, if they're relatively cheap and like accessible to people who don't like, you know, maybe five dollars at most, um, I think that would be great. If you can just, if they're all free to play friendly, you just got to earn them through events. I think that would be great as well. 
Um, I don't really like season ones where like they're exclusive for a certain amount of time and then no one else can get them because you know everyone will want certain characters. Like, for example, if Cyclops is your favorite character, you you would want to go for this skin. Um, but yeah, I mean, on, all of this seems pretty positive. I'm not excited about ISO eight tier two uh, strike pass. I already buy the battle pass, so I don't know if I really want to buy another pass along with it. Uh, hopefully the battle pass. I don't know. Hopefully they lower the battle pass price and make the strike pass ten dollars in the battle pass. The uh, real time arena battle pass ten dollars so then it's about the same price um this exclusive original character i'm not really excited for it just because i don't i don't i don't know what they're gonna do are they gonna do a mutant are they gonna do an avenger what are they gonna do um of course save squads are always gonna be great raid, raid season milestone milestones are also awesome red stars for ultron are great and then the api is great as well because that way i like to track my roster and see how it's going so um i would like to have access to an api as well so all of this seems really nice um Again, I can't really complain too much. Just the ISO 8 Tier 2 does not seem super exciting. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. On this channel, I do guides, I do orb, orb openings, and I do streams, and I do all sorts of Marvel Strike Force stuff. So make sure you're subscribed, hit that like button. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.